I had already partially disassembled this so I could access the tubes. So there's just a couple of screws holding it together. It doesn't say what bit that is, but it's a little hex bit. This lifts up and this and we're unplugged by the way before I start putting my hand in here. I'm gonna take this little connector here with the with the brown and blue wire and then I can just simply fold that out of the way and I'll need to get in here to the power supply because it's got that bad capacitor. So I can see if we can get in a little closer. Now I can show getting into the vacuum tubes. This speaker's got to come out out of the way. This uh, junction block's got to come out of the way for all the inputs. And then there are three Phillips screws. Number two Phillips, I do believe. Yep. And I just have one in for right now for testing purposes. And then this is the board that has the tubes on it. So this one right here is the one that's got the issue. And here's the substitute. It's a channel master. 12AU7A. So that'll work for a substitute for testing purposes. The tube in there was the JJ with the date code of February 2013. So that's the original tube set. So I'm sure they are getting tired by now. Because he does use this quite often until recently when it started acting up. So go ahead and get that seated in there. There's little tabs and that'll line up and drop right in there. Put that one screw in there. Slide that back in. And they kind of hang out without the screws in them, so it's not like they're going to be flopping around too badly. And then I'll swing this back over. Plug in my connector. And put that back in, put a couple screws in it. We'll give it a test. And I have, in the meanwhile, ordered the tubes. I may have mentioned that earlier. Alright, let's see what happens. So I've had this rig on for about 10 minutes. It's just as quiet as it can be, so I'm going to go on to the power supply and see about swapping out that capacitor that looks in pretty bad shape. Alright, I'm not too happy with this crusty stuff right here under this this uh, 1500 microfarad capacitor. I just happen to have some. So I think I'm going to go ahead and swap that out. Just a series of screws. And this plastic cover should come off. There it is. Might do those two right there. They're just looking a little suspect to me.
and that plug just slips right off. Just making a reference for myself where the negative terminals are. So this guy is good and warmed up. See anything actually leaking out of that? Might have been leaking out of this one. But either way, I don't like it. Looks like the trail's coming out of that one. So, there's the replacement. And we got the old uh, 6010 40 lead solder or solder. Both pronunciations are accepted in the major dictionaries. I think my old tip has about had it. Get the flux pin out, flux remover, tidy that up, and then carefully trim these leads. And there's one replaced. the second one out. See, yep, there you go. That's the one that was leaking. But I figure if one of them is, the other one might do it as well. Don't see any other that are physically damaged. Alrighty. Get this one in.
very good. So while I'm in here, I'm just going to get the magnifying glass out and make sure my connections are good and double check and make sure all the rest of the connections are good. Make sure I don't see any cold joints. I think we're good. Go ahead and trim these leads. And tidy that up with the flux remover pen. So that's all good. And I'm just going to leave well enough alone on those others. And put this back in place. magnetize my screwdriver there. I have a video on how I do that. I will leave a link in the description. See there that makes putting screws back in much easier. So now Time to create some room here. Go ahead and plug the iron. I don't think I'll need it anymore. Plug my connector back in. And that's what I want to set flat. There's one little wire in the way there stuffed in there and we're back in. Don't want to pinch any wires. So I will temporarily put this back together just enough where it won't fall apart. Give it a test. And then once those new tubes come in I can put it back together 100%. Well, let's power it up and see if it passes the smoke test. <laughs> 